it's a lot easier for Google to know what to put in your search results if you help them out. Uh, that's right. Google is very smart, but they sure do appreciate it when you can help them out and tell them what you want them to display on your search results pages. So let's look at that. This is my website, Matchless Web Studio. Now, if I view my site in a search, in an incognito window, using the search terms that I'm trying to rank for, uh, Clinton, Mississippi, web designer, type just like that. If I scroll down the page, I eventually see, hey, here's me. I uh, see my about page is ranking second, and my home page is ranking third. Now, how does Google know to display uh, these specific words for the title of my page. How does Google know uh, what this little description is supposed to be? And why are they highlighting that text in bold? Well, short story is I've told Google what I want it to turn up whenever somebody uh, finds me in a search result. So if you don't tell Google what it, uh, what it needs to show when someone searches you, um, it's going to take it upon itself to just grab whatever text it can on the page and pull that into the description. Um, if you don't have a page title set, you might get something uh, kind of funky looking in the title itself. But that's all stuff that can change um, based on your inputs. So let's look at how to do that in a WordPress website. Now I'm going to be giving you an overview of the back end of my home page on my website. Okay. Uh, so this page viewed from the back end in WordPress, so this is a WordPress website. Uh, looking in the back, um, I can see that, okay, my website is built on Divi, uh, the, the Divi, Divi theme. Uh, not really relevant here, but what we can see is if I scroll down, I've got a plugin called Smart Crawl Pro installed here. Um, and it is through these settings that you can tell Google what you want to uh, display or any search engine rather, uh, what you want it to display for your various pages on your website. So I see here I've got a Google preview of the information that I've given it. Um, so the bit of descriptive text that's laid out under here is what's known as a meta description. Uh, meta data is just data about data. Um, so if we say edit meta, that's going to give me the opportunity to both change the title of the page and that meta description. Um, and again, if you recall, if we look back at that uh, search results page, um, we see the title right here and the description right here matches exactly what I have set um, for my page title and the meta description. If I want to change what is shown on that front page uh, of that search result, I could just simply change that text in here. I could change my page title and the next time uh, Google's bots crawl my site, it's going to display that new information. And one of the other things that you can do here is you can also set um, a focus keyword or a phrase, uh, whatever it is that you would like to turn up in the results for. So if you're trying to rank for uh, whatever your business is, let's say that you're based in, in Clinton, Mississippi, and you want to uh, be the plumber who turns up whenever someone searches uh, plumber in Clinton then you would want to include some word or phrase here that would attract people if you were to turn up in a web search. Uh, now, web designer here, that's part of my, uh, my search query that I entered back on this page. Um, see up here, I searched Clinton, Mississippi web designer. Um, well, it turns out this has been highlighted here in bold because that is part of the key terms that I'm searching for. Um, things that are in your search query up here, Clinton, Mississippi Web Designer, any pages that have that text listed in their meta description are, are going to be bolded. So you see in this search result, you see Clinton, Mississippi is highlighted. Um, you see website, web designer, those relevant terms to uh, your search terms are, are bolded. So um, that just lets whoever is searching know that, hey, this, this page just might have uh, some of what it is that you're looking for. Now, if I go back here and scroll down a little bit further, Smart Crawl is giving me some further um, recommendations to improve the SEO on this page. Now, if I hit this drop down, um, this is telling me that the slug for this site has no keywords. Um, now, if I were to drag my page down, uh, the URL for this page 
um, if I were to actually view this on the front end, okay, uh, the link itself does not have any descriptive text following it. In other words, if there was a slash about, uh, that would be taking someone to my about page. And, and the bit of text that comes after your main website, uh, your, your domain name, it's called a slug. And so that SEO recommendation that it's giving me is just saying, hey, your slug doesn't have any of the keywords that you're trying to rank for. So in other words, um, the slug, the bit of text after my domain for this page doesn't include the text Clinton Mississippi web designer um, after, uh, after the domain, which can be a really helpful um, tactic to plug into your SEO strategy. Um, making sure that your keywords both appear in not only that meta description, so web designer, um, web design shows up in my meta description um, and it shows up in my title, but it's not in the slug. So if I wanted to, I could go and make that change. It's just giving me that uh, recommendation and there's some little tips down below. Um, it also mentions to me that on this page, uh, the image alt text or alternate uh, text does not have any keywords plugged in. So in other words, the images on my page are not labeled uh, with some kind of information that would describe the image if it were to not display. So let's say someone tried to load this page and this image didn't display for some reason. Rather than it just being a blank slot, I could have some kind of descriptive text show here. Um, it could say mock-up of PDF for, for easy to avoid mistakes when hiring a web designer just some bit of descriptive text that comes in here. Um, so that's just identifying, hey, that's some other low hanging fruit that you could try to implement. And the further you scroll down, you see more and more recommendations of either things that you um, are missing or could do on your page. And it'll also let you know what things you are uh, doing right from an SEO standpoint. So um, this isn't a full overview of what all the Smart Crawl Pro plugin does, um, but I just wanted to show you that it's an easy way to let Google know these are uh, these are the terms that I'm trying to rank for on this page. Um, you can try to uh, satisfy all the recommendations to really make sure that you've ticked all the boxes that really make it easier for Google to know, hey, what is on this page um, so that when someone searches for your terms, um, you're just a little more likely to get eyeballs on your link. And if people like what they see in your link, you know, in your page title, in your meta description, you might be a little more likely to get a click through. And if that happens enough times, you just stand a better chance of uh, climbing up the ranks um, on the search results page for those key terms that you're trying to rank for. Um, this is just one of the videos that's going to be embedded in the blog post here. Uh, so make sure you check out the link below um, to look at the rest of this article as well as the other companion videos that will go along with it.